here. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Waterfalls, water parks, beaches, and swimming pool. These are most likely the most common go-to places everyone goes to to escape the heat on these hot summer days. Unfortunately, most makeup tend to get smeared or outright get removed once it touches the water. Well, have no fear. Today I have here a waterproof makeup tutorial for those who have concerns with how to do waterproof makeup. Now before putting on my makeup, let me work on my skincare first. When you put on waterproof makeup, it's important to make sure that your skin is moisturized. Cause for waterproof makeup, we mostly use powder or fixer spray and they'll make the skin feel stripping dry inside. And I'll use that fixer spray a lot. Anyway, let's start the makeup. I have oily skin so I'll be only applying moisturizing products very lightly and simply. The skincare products I have here are the products which I reviewed in my last moisturizing care in the summer season. So for the first step, I'll be using Innisfree's Artichoke Layering Light Skin. I'll wipe my face once and then soak some cotton pads with a toner and do a toner pack for about 5 minutes. And when it's completely absorbed, I'll apply on Innisfree's Green Tea Seed Serum. I'll apply it on in very small amounts. I usually apply my skincare products in very small amounts, especially in the summer season. But if you have dry skin or tend to feel dry even in the summer, I recommend you to apply the serum in layers or apply some moisturizing gel cream. And I'll use the fixer. Now, it's quite awkward, right? The fixer is Edit House's Fix and Fix Mist Fixer. I'll spray it onto my face and apply it with my bare hand like this and then dab it. And before applying the foundation, I'll use a glow base. The product I have here is Innisfree's Smart Drawing Strobing Number no. 2 Peach Light. I'll spray the fixer spray onto the beauty blender and I'll apply this onto my face. Now the product I'm gonna use for the base is Misha Skin Fit Stick Foundation Number no. 23. Now here's the tip for choosing waterproof base products. To check whether the product is waterproof, try spraying some water onto it. If you see water droplets, this signifies that it's a waterproof or sweatproof product. But if it doesn't, then you'll know that it isn't. And from now on, what you need is speed. I'll spray the fixer spray onto the beauty blender once again. And I'll apply this onto my face. When doing this way, make sure that you have to apply it while your skin is still moist. And when the foundation absorbs well into the skin, I'll apply the foundation straight onto my face once again for the better coverage. And dab it to make it adhere well onto the skin. Do you see the coverage? I wanted to apply the foundation very naturally, so I just applied in two layers maybe. But when you need more coverage, just apply the foundation where you have skin troubles. I'll move on to eye makeup. The first eyeshadow I'll be using is Edit House's Play 101 Blending Pencil number no. 4 and number no. 9, which I'll be using at the same time. I'll apply the number no. 4 stick eyeshadow on the area between eyebrows and the eyelashes. And number 9 below where I applied number 4 close to the eyelashes. And then I'll use a brush to graduate it naturally. Make sure to blend it as fast as you can because it can harden up. And I'll use a very small thin brush and draw the line on my double eyelid just like I did in my daily makeup tutorial. I'll also apply this on my under eyelids and blend it with a very short but soft brush. Here I have an eyeliner product which is great to use as an eyeshadow since it has a very pretty shimmery color. It's the Tony Moly's Back Gel Miracle Super Proof Liner number no. 10 Warm Twinkle. I'll just apply it on the lower lash line. The eyeshadows are done. Simple, isn't it? Next I have here an eyeliner. It's Clio's Sharp So Simple Waterproof Pencil Liner number no. 1 Black. I'll just draw it starting from the outer edge of my eyes and then I'll use a small eyeliner brush to make the tail of the eyeline sharp. Now I'll curl my eyelashes and do the mascara. The mascara is Clio's Kill Lash Super Proof Mascara Number no. 1 Long Curling. I'll apply on a sufficient amount of mascara. I'll also apply the mascara on my lower eyelashes. I'll use a lighter and wooden stick as a curling iron for more beautiful curling eyelashes. But before doing it, let me dry my mascara first while drying my eyebrows at the same time. The eyebrow I have here is Misha's Par Proof Pro Drawing Brow and the color is dark brown. This is a liquid type so I'll use a brow brush in very very small amounts. Cause if not, my eyebrow is gonna turn out to be too thick or too dark. Starting from the tail of my eyebrows, I'll apply it in very small amounts and I'll just draw it very naturally just by filling the empty spots. Now that my eyelashes are dry, I'll use the lighter and a wooden stick to curl my eyelashes. Everyone, please be careful when doing this. Next, I have the blusher. This is Innisfree's Mineral Cream Blusher No. 3 Sweet Peach. Just like I applied the foundation, I'll spray the fixer spray on the beauty blender. And then by using my bare finger, I'll apply the blusher on my cheek and just dab it with the beauty blender. For 
for contouring, I have a Puse 3D Contouring Stick Duo No. 2 Natural Blend. I'll just dry it a bit on the outer area of my face. And once again, soak the beauty blender with a fixer spray and just blend it. I'll draw a bit more on the cheekbones to graduate it naturally with the blusher. Finally, lips. I have here Edit House's Dear Darling Water Gel Tint RD301 Real Red and PK002 Plum Red. Since these tint tint very strongly, I'll use a cotton swab. First, I'll use the color Real Red as my base lip color. I'll put some on the cotton swab and apply it very thinly and a bit over lip. Then I'll use Plum Red on the inner lips and graduate it. But wait, the makeup's not over yet. I have the transparent powder and the fixer spray to make the makeup fit well onto my face for the whole day. The powder I have here is Innisfree's No Sebum Mineral Powder. I'll put some powder where the makeup will get damaged easily, such as the forehead, tip of the nose, around the lips and a bit on the eyelids, and on the under eyelash line. Now I'll spray on the makeup fixer. I'll spray it evenly onto my face and let it dry. So, ta-da! My waterproof makeup is over. Now it's time to see whether this can really protect the makeup from water, right? So I got some of my friends to splash water on my face. Let me move to another area. by water. Now let me show you how this protected the makeup from water. Hello. Now let me show you it more closer. I have the tissue right here and it's new. Ooh. There's nothing on the tissue. And the other side. Same. There's nothing. Only water. I'll just Remove some water on my eyelids, eyebrows, around my eyes. And there's this is actually my nail. There's nothing. My eyelids are clear, and my oh, it's still wet around here. So I'll just remove the water. Eyebrows are great. It's just still there. Eyeliner is still there too. It feels very soft on my eyelids. So this was my waterproof makeup tutorial. I hope this tutorial helped you a lot and I also hope you to try it out. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I'm so cold.